Welcome back to Blood of Seeds of Life. I have something important to talk to you about today. It's about the general health of children in America. I'm holding a class at our local library and I'm expecting about 60 kids to attend this class along with their parents. And my intention is to talk to kids about snacks and to rethink the stuff they will normally reach out for when they are eating in between meals. Lydia? brought homegrown and dry apples, figs, and raisins. And I'm also treating my little friends to a home-baked pumpkin bread. We're finishing our class with learning all that we can learn about how to bake a bread and what yeast is. Imagine that bacteria is like a monster, and in order to grow, you need to... I'm gonna add water. This is gonna start to grow. And it's gonna be so big, it's gonna be bigger than a whole bit. I think I don't need to emphasize on the importance of a proper nutrition for children, especially here in our country. Sadly, simple food growing and food preparation skills are no longer passed on from generation to generation. It pretty much does. Like flour. But Mama this stuff, it. this stuff will grow. And when it grows, if we're gonna have it, it will be this big. Look, and look at the plant this big. Together with my nonprofit organization called Blood of Seeds of Life, I'm on a mission to change that. With that in mind, I started producing television program that is just about that. As of today, November 2017, our program is playing in over 18 different states on over 30 different public access television stations. My goal is to eventually bring this program to PBS television stations and perhaps use this program to play a role of a TV grandma to many kids who otherwise don't have grandparents living with them. We need to keep our kids close to nature and healthy food if we are to have a bright future. I have started this initiative eight years ago and could use your help. So please consider supporting our nonprofit organization. Your support will help us bring this program to kids and families who need it the most.